Hey, what's up guys, Shadok here, and welcome back to Hades. So, uh, it's been a while since I've recorded the last episode, I do not remember what I, uh, said I was gonna use when- I remember in the last episode, we obviously used the spear. I'm assuming, uh, it would probably be, not the bow, uh, the twin fist, since I've yet to escape, and I'm pretty sure I've escaped, uh, with every other, uh, weapon. So, I'm gonna look here, I mean... Grant me the aspect of Talos. Malfon, reveal your secrets. So I'm gonna do that. He gets pulled in a little, which is actually pretty helpful. That's one of my favorite. Uh, live again, boyo. Uh, one of my favorite aspects for uh, the fist. All right, so all we have to do is beat uh, Hades in sticks. So. One more time. You are immortal, boy, but in a manner you can die, as you now understand. A most unpleasant feeling, is it not? I'm getting used to it. Okay. So as you saw, I equipped the Ares keepsake. Oh, my kid. The reason I did that is for Curse of Agony. Uh, because there's an upgrade to the Doom where it does more damage the more times you stack it. Uh, and with how many times the fist will hit, I should be able to hit, uh, stack the Doom a lot. Time to fight. Zeus or Poseidon. And I guess I'll go because I don't really like knocking people away with uh, the fist. So I'll go with Zeus here. Zeus is also another really good option for uh, your main attack. Uh, especially if there's a big crowd of enemies. I did not realize I would grab them so far away. Because the thing with the Zeus main attack is it's chain lightning, and every single time that you punch, another bolt of chain lightning gets shot out. And that will do a lot of damage, so. I'm just gonna look at. Oh, okay, I forgot the button there. Okay, eventual mood. Your revenge effects some cure sometimes without taking damage. That's not where go ahead. Um yeah, I guess I'll take the revenge thing, so oh, now all I need for that is something one of Zeus's main things. Yeah, so if I, if I have a chance to run into Zeus again, I'll try and get the special. It's been having a phone. Uh, randomly struck by lightning. Okay, now, now that I know how far away an enemy gets pulled with this, uh, the magnetic cutter has gone up uh, way farther than my uh, tier of aspects. So. That's kind of actually like a range attempt, because you can hit from slightly farther away. Obviously, you're gonna go for this here. And one of your main focuses with uh, the fish should be uh, something to help with breaking shields because that's where the fist struggle is whenever there's an enemy that has a shield. Because obviously you can't stagger them, which is where the fist are, are really good with. It's like this enemy, obviously, since I had spam cast into it. See, Lily can't do anything because I'm moving around and uh, stunning it so much. So. Uh, yeah, Dash Like Pierce's button does 90% damage to armor. I would prefer more uh, boons, but this is fine, I guess. I mean, I do only have a couple. Pay 
Damage and fall. It's horrible. Unless I had an extremely strong cast, but obviously I have to fall on it. You would think dealing 900% more damage to armor, you'd think it would just instantly destroy the armor, but... Unless I just... Power of Olympus. Uh, yeah, obviously not that one, uh, 30 more damage for Doom. Dionysus. I guess Festive Fog? <laughs> I don't think I've had a festive fog one yet. I mean, obviously, you can see it does uh, a bit more damage here. Yeah, that was a pretty quick fight. The good I do have is keep sick of Okay. Really don't want much of these. Let's go with strong drink. <laughs> None of those are that good. He's really hoping for his cast, because it can be extremely strong, especially with Zeus. So I don't know if I qualify for the Zeus uh, duo with Festifog, like if I would have got Festifog, I don't think the Vince Vengeance one counts. here because it's not the final shot before the uh, boss fight. Like, where's the health upgrades? Like, game, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm on my weapon that I probably take the most damage on you aren't giving me any uh, health upgrades. Okay, another palm. I mean, I guess that's fine. I can upgrade. I doom again, but I much prefer hell of it now because I don't really need to be upgrading my doom. The power of the gods. Another twenty. Oh my gosh! For darkness again. So I guess I'm gonna have to fight the first spot without any help upgrade. I mean, that's fine, and I can do it, it's just annoying. Let's really have to find this, there's no way I'll fail. Oh, I upgraded the Ares thing. Oh, okay, well, I mean, I guess I'll take a... I'll screw it. Could possibly get a health upgrade in here. Don't want Aphrodite at all, so I'm gonna just go for Palm. I'll take it. Take m even more damage on the Doom. Got a feeling it's Tisiphone this time. Tisiphone wouldn't be that bad, as long as he doesn't Electo. Oh well. Oh, good. If you're no god, you're not. You've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop talking. Please. The only problem with uh, the Magnetic Wall being a more popular than the Magnetic Cutter, uh, one problem is you can't. I mean, you it's basically just basically a range attack whenever you're fighting either an enemy that can't move, like the Skull Summoner things. I was really hoping to get more than one Ares Moon, but. That was pretty easy. I mean, if you get a good build, I will say the fist can be really good. If you get a good build. But if you get trash build like I normally do, it's pretty bad. That's why I almost never go for just a random boon run where I won't uh, select the god that I want. Like I won't. Won't bother asking how come all my keepsakes are here. Like I won't. Uh, like I won't put it, equip one of the gods. Uh, keepsakes to specifically ask for them. I'll just equip something else that's good, like the, I guess, Pierce Butterfly or something, but with a Herbie Feather Duster. Go with that one. Something like 
There's anything that we're going to... No, not that. There's... No... I mean, kind of. Actually, I mean, the bonus damage is nice. Up we go, then. And it's basically I get plus 4% damage every single level. Or maybe 8% if I get lucky enough to find the final chamber. I don't know if I even have the fountain chamber unlocked for all the areas. Be there soon, Bone Hydra. Ew. It's a good thing I didn't buy the chaos. Like, I'm sure chaos can't respawn ahead because I got one anyway. I, mean, uh, I would never buy that anyway because I hate chaos. So, like, oh, here. Be, be trash for a few rooms so you can uh, have a slightly. have a slight benefit in, in after those rooms. Like, Like enemies that can't move like the little behind your heads, uh, then it's basically just a ranged attack. It's my first bit of money though. Palm or money, I'm gonna go for palm here. I mean if I can just keep on upgrading uh the doom, that wouldn't be that bad because it's just more and more damage. Damage on the doom. Don't care. Yeah, I, I would like the permits here, but it's health. I need to get more health. I'm only at 100, and I'm already like I'm already on chamber 19, and I only have 100 health. I didn't even realize that I was there. A lot of damage in this room. You guys just like more boons in general, so if I only have one core boon. Okay, well. I was thinking in my head I wanted Af uh, Athena, not Aphrodite, for my uh, dash, because dash reflect is really good. Uh, but then there's Zeus, which is the one I was literally asking for. I just want more Ares so I can actually take advantage of this Doom. Like, sure, I mean, I can deal a lot of damage, but there's so many upgrades for the Doom that you can get. But Ares is like, okay, here's your one boon that you asked for, and no more. Jeez. Fine, I'll just take a little shot. Watch now, next is gonna be Dionysus. <laughs> gonna say, if Dionysus was there, I'd have been mad. Okay, I do qualify for Ventral Mood now, which watch, once I get Ares, it'll be like, oh, do you rather have an upgrade to your Doom or get Ventral Mood? And I'm gonna take Ventral Mood, because it's a duo that I have yet to collect on the save file, so... Prophecies, I guess. That's my main problem with the fist on it. It's like, oh, yay. It's like. They aren't very entertaining because it's like this button map. You just get near an enemy and just start mashing uh, your attack button. And then occasionally, if you have magnetic cutter, occasionally doing the special. Like, you basically do the special once. If you're too lazy, you just dash over. I heard it. Yeah, if you ever hear like a little 
like ring at the end of a uh, room that means there's a fishing spot in there. I got one. Another crustacean. Okay, I'm gonna go for Dionysus here. Actually, I wonder what the duo between Ares and Dionysus is. Crisp nausea, okay. This is the, the worst duo in the game, by the way. <laughs> this is uh, pretty good, too. Um, but, Freezing Vortex is the worst one. So, literally, all it does is make the blade rifts smaller. Oh, and it flex chill. Who cares? Yes, yeah, Crazy Nodger would actually be pretty good in here. I mean, it's hangover dealing faster. I wish it was the other way around, but. It's whatever. Oh, it's free because it's right before the boss. Great. In the name of Hades. I'm gonna equip the Dionysus uh, keepsake for Elysium to hope for the Doom Mill. Get back in the magma and no one gets hurt. Please use a mirror upgrade, but you do more damage if it's an enemy that has multiple status effects on. So, if having uh, the Hydra having Doom and Hangover effective at the same time. Yeah, I was honestly expecting one of them, but. This is probably my least favorite area for the fish, just because there's the lava. So if an enemy decides to hide over the lava... I can't hang up this really good 5 second, 5 damage a second-ish. Something like that. Like this stupid Hydra head, it has to sit in the lava and be stupid, so I can't really... I mean, it can attack it, obviously. It's not really good. Lava is also really annoying. I mean, I basically got my checklist for what I would want on a, a good. I completely forgot that I even grabbed that. Oh, uh, good. A uh, fist run. Try a uh, more damage to armor. In the form of my dash strike being stronger. I mean, if you look at the health, uh, it's only seem pretty powerful. I mean, it is only a second boss. Uh, yeah, so for the checklist, I got more damage to armor, Enough. a high, something you have to apply multiple times to do a lot of damage, uh, my main attack, and then, I mean, the other stuff's kind of de debatable. But like the call, and, or not call, but the cast, and yeah, that should be another 4% damage. I'm fine with all of those. I mean, having one of like good, but I'm not gonna bother selling it for 85 coins. Get me out of here. It's not really worth it. So I'm hoping to get Dionysus here and have him either offer me just like an upgrade to Hangover or. Much nicer climate. The duo. I don't know why I can find just stop talking. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm gonna go for Dato this game all the way along. I don't really uh, know much of the Daedalus upgrades for the Fist, maybe I should do this again, just the Fist. Let's 
counters. Yeah, that's really good. Here's the Dio Boon I was asking for. Oh, God. Good thing I got the increased range because. When I have, this would be really difficult. Actually, I mean, with my uh, dash, it shouldn't be as bad. I can just dash through them. I wasn't really paying attention to what enemy that was, and I just did the magnetic cutter and almost died because her almost yeah, not died, almost took damage. Because I'm gonna die from one flame wheel exploding. Stop spawning flame was really directly on top of her fighting people. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, you suck. I mean, peer pressure's pretty good, I guess. What are you doing here? Excuse me, what? You go for health, obviously, I only have 125. I'm gonna be needing a lot more. Ooh, fa fountain chain, but also uh, full health and more damage. It's a strong drink. Why would I go here? That was kind of dumb. Could have gone a palm, but whatever. Still toiling around. I'm heading for the set. Your father. Thanks, sir. <sighs> Did not mean to grab that. I wasn't really paying. Let's go, Aries. Okay, I don't care that I just accidentally wasted because I don't even remember what else he can give you. I guess bonus damage for a few rooms, which would be nice here, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, stop talking, please. Thank you. This guy really sucks for this. Obviously, he's here for this. I mean, nothing sucks for him. I think this is I hang over dash whenever he decides to chase after me, I can do a decent amount of damage. Here. So much damage that he could just die. Uh, and you don't have to fight It's amazing. Okay, slicing shot. I mean, that is really good, especially since it's heroic. But an uh, epic uh, diamond misfortune, which is what I was talking about uh, near the beginning of this run, your DM effects deal more damage and apply multiple times. So I'm gonna go with that. And the slicing shot would be really good since it's heroic. It's probably better than the Zeus thing that I have right now, but. It may not seem like it, maybe once I get to an uh, enemy that has more than the little amount of health that these guys have. Like, basically, just the once I get to the boss, uh, you'll probably be able to see the power of Iron Fortune. So, you're gonna be able to just stack them multiple times. I 
accidentally dashed into the thing. Got it. Okay, more Zeus. More. Uh, that's all. Oh, damn it. I could barely even realize that that was a fizzing sponge. It's so bright up here sure, anyway. Why not? I didn't know there was water down there. Isn't actually before the boss. Take a man of 10 damage. I'm gonna put precautions in and not take damage from those things. I guess this one is just not meant to have duos in it. Shop here and hope for a health upgrade and full health of some sort. And uh, Aries Moon. No, no, and no. Okay, well, I mean, there's, that's technically that. health. Not what I asked for. Give me a better boon. Ah, dang it. Let's upgrade my useless thing. Care for a rematch? The monster has returned. I couldn't care less about your title. Though. Phase already. Lord Poseidon, aid me now. Oh, he's mad. I didn't take his boon earlier. Definitely. All right. I like how he can just spin around as much. Did you see that? Oh, I'm dumb because it says he has knockback. I was so confused there. Because he has a side and just gets knocked back. Ow. I am not finished yet. Yeah, like, the reason I was so confused there, because I was like dashing back at the exact same time, so I thought, did he somehow make me momentum dash back? Like, we got them, my good shade. 
I'm definitely equipping this guy to keep sick. If I don't, oh, this is a guaranteed loss, obviously. Think you can just walk away from me? Yeah, and please be another giant. One more stop. If I could equip two keepsakes, it'd be nice to have uh, the Athena one too, because then there's a chance she could give me the uh, increased. Because she could give me. Uh, I think I probably could have gotten away with that, but I'm like dying once, but I was just stupid and rushing into it, trying to deal as much damage as possible, as fast as possible. Another Dio, and is that something I can use? Why not? <sighs> you suck. Okay, I'm gonna go for Zeus here, and all my core boons are filled. I know yes. Zeus, you have a lot of boons, but please give me. Uh, give me the duo. So I just got to save before I start fighting. Sorry if you hear a lot of uh, button mashing between my mic thing because I'm literally that's all I do in this uh, using the fist is just spam the button as much as possible. Because that's how you attack fastest. Oh, it didn't reset fast enough? That's stupid. So it's hard to take more damage because the thing couldn't reset fast enough. Right. Really, I can, if I had more dashes, I could really just spam dash around. It's trying to be as difficult, mainly because I can just... Uh, because I have the dash strike as more damage to shield or whatever. I guess I'm just not allowed to get the duo in this run. Okay, I'm gonna get 200 Should check this way. just from finishing the last one of this. That was the dumbest damage, plus all the pots, obviously. Okay, I've taken 40 damage in here that I should not have taken. Something that's useless. Like if it lets me get rid of the revenge it's thing, yeah. It's obviously not gonna get rid of. Uh, that would be nice because obviously I'm gonna want all my health uh, whenever I find the fountain eventually. Yeah, 500, and I haven't even gotten the money yet. There it is already. Just the foul sack I need. 734. Refreshing. Plus another 4% damage from. You must be hungry, huh? Uh, I'm a little bit short. After party is literally useless. Give me a vintage. 25 more health, and that'll actually be really helpful if it affects, if it actually does the 230% on Hades. The prince compels. 31%. Thanks, boy. Okay. If I'm not a complete idiot here, this could be a win. And also, if the numbing sensation boon or whatever actually works on Hades, too. Making him 30% slower would be amazing. As long as he's affected by hangover, which he should be if I'm dashing around him. 
to think Olympus has been aiding you. Yeah, about that. Father. <laughs> well, she's she some quite story lovely. stuff. Ah, surprising. Probably where the majority of the damage that I'm gonna take in this fight will be uh, is from this spring attack. Because if I'm already up close, uh, having to get. Oh. Why? Oh my. Missing me. I thought it was one of the laser ones. No, it's the invincibility guy. I got hit by that same thing three times. Oh my god. Literally, that same skull thing hit me three times. Why? Every single time. Of course, right as my thing ends, he does the stupid... ...spin attack that I really can't dodge. Baseball can't dodge. First time too, I wasn't paying attention. Or... Oh, Sure, I didn't take damage there, but I'll take it. Okay, so I have 88 health plus now like a hundred or something. It is time that we began in earnest. I thought I have 188 health to kill Hades with, I think. You asked for this. I will be attempting to take as much as we answer that as possible. So that's why I'm going to be doing the majority of the damage. Okay, so I don't... Th I mean, unless I'm thinking of 30% as being way more... Uh, being slow doesn't really seem like it's affecting him at all. I almost hit my greatest call button there. Can't take advantage of the cheat this time. Is it really a cheat if they make it possible to do? Probably could get in there and do damage, but I don't want to accidentally lose my death defiance because of it. And my skelly defiance. So. Okay. But, I know you're almost dead, but you really have to waste time by doing that over and over again. Why, why would you, literally, you have like, about like, 3% of your health left. Why would you bother someone in the freaking no hands? Get along. Take me about 24 over. minute in-game time. Seems pretty good. That may actually be my fastest one so far. Yeah, clear time new back. <laughs> well, that blew all the other ones out of the water. The fastest one before that was a 33.56 at the Stygian Blade. Wow. That was great. And I have six total clears. Pretty sure that should mean, like, four more or something until I get to the first milestone amount of escapes, which is ten.
really hope there'll be a fishing spot. Because that could be a diamond or a lot of uh, gemstones. Don't mess it up. There. Is this a trout? Ah, you're back. Hello. I could not stand it on Olympus, Sagrius. The blustering, the posturing, my overbearing mother. None of it. I would have left the mountain voluntarily, except. Except Father absconded with you, didn't he? Dragged you down with him into the underworld. So if Olympus were to find that out, I shudder to think of the consequences. That fool is trying to protect me even now. It wasn't he who absconded with me, my son. And it's more complicated even than that. I was content to leave. Willing to make my life within the underworld. With your father. I dare not ask who did bring you to father then. So essentially, you ran away from home to live with him. I mean no disrespect, but did you realize what you were getting yourself into? We have a tendency to be impetuous when we are younger, Zagreus. I heard all about your father before we met. Admired paintings of him. It was very awkward at first, but he had a bluntness I fancied. A sense of principle. I much preferred him to his brothers, I can tell you that. So, uh, then you secretly left Mount Olympus to be with the God of the Dead in the Underworld, and Olympus never found out. What do you suppose would happen if they did? I think there would be war between Olympus and your father, Zagreus, if they found out. Especially now, after all this. And after all this time... They slew their parents once. If the Titans could be wiped from this world, so can we all. So it makes sense. If Father, he agrees with you and thinks that leaving you in hiding here, that it's the only way he can prevent that war. I can see how your father, shrewd but also single-minded as he was, might have followed such a line of reasoning as that. Oh, Zagreus. What have I done? No. What have I done? Uh, I... can't. Oh, I need to fix this. <coughs> I didn't think you had it in you, boy. There's a lot of people that want to talk to me. I'm not going to bother talking to them unless they have, like, the important uh, thing over their head. What's this stuff? I don't really care that much. Hope for a diamond from chef. the chef. Yeah. Turn and trout at the station and a cart. Two nectar and a diamond and three keys. That's oh, what I'm Have See, I can't afford anything in here because everything is like three diamonds or more. Jeez. Okay, that. There you are. That's nice. Apparently, I got plated a prophecy. What do you know? This came true. Oh uh, yeah, I was. Uh, that was my final weapon that I had to break through for Guess the first time. And fighting blood. Jeez. I only have oh, three more actually. Only two more for Artemis, two more for Dionysus, three more for or four more actually for Hermes. Five more for Demeter. And then literally all the legendary except for Zeus. <laughs> Almost all the duos I left. And just a ton of data less upgrades. 
I yet to do any of these, I think. Actually, have I not won a run yet with the Pact of Punishment in at all? Have I really not done one heat on any of them? I guess I did. Yeah, I did zero heat for all of them first. And now I'm just going to go with uh, whatever has darkness, which is... Oh, God. Ugh. Okay, I don't really want to do another place. spear run after I just had one last episode. Or two episodes ago, technically, will be uh, once we make it there. But I think I'll just start with a good old-fashioned sword run in the next episode. And I'll try to remember that. If I don't, uh, I'll probably end up going with, uh, shield or something if I don't remember by then, but... So next episode, we should be doing one heat, uh, which won't be that much different from, uh, zero heat, uh, with the sword, so... Take down Skelly. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, if you're going to subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one.